Hey guys, I got a little marketing tip for your ScreenFlow videos that you upload to YouTube or anywhere else that you uh, upload them, doesn't really matter. Since I post most of my videos on YouTube, I like to have a few backlinks, uh, you know, pointing back to the video right away or even one of my blog posts. And if you've never heard of SlideShare, this is one of those sites where you can upload a PDF document and, you know, people can read it some of them are pretty popular now as you can see I'm not a big user of it but in going through some of my backlinks I realized that last year I put up an update for the ScreenFlow 3 update and it's got 377 views and that's better than a lot of articles that I've written so so for a social account like this that I only have one you know PDF uploaded it's done pretty good so I think I might as well do the same thing with a version 4 update but in order to do that I have to create another PDF file but one thing about ScreenFlow 4 is that it allows you to take these frame shots instantly of your video. So I'm just going to scan through this video and, you know, create a PDF from it. And all you have to do is go up here uh, to File. And wherever your scrubber is in the timeline, all I have to do is press Save Frame. And it's asking me to save a frame. So I'm just going to save this as one. To replace because I've already sort of tested this and let me just go through this save frame and save frame and I'll call this one two okay so I'm just gonna go through the numbers here and collect some frames all right so now I have all of my images collected what I'm gonna do now is just start adding these to my keynote document and since my document is already 1280 by 720, it should come out exactly the same. So I'm just going to add a few notes to some of the pages, just explaining a benefit or two of the feature. Okay, there, I've added some notes to each of my pages and this uh, PDF is complete. Now we'll just export this as a PDF. Don't need border, don't need date. Let's go. Now I'm gonna go back to SlideShare and I'm just gonna upload that file. Add some tags. Okay, here it is. I got ScreenFlow 4 Review here as my title. My file name was ScreenFlow 4 Review as well, so I'm targeting that keyword. I also have a web address to my site, some tags, and a link to the YouTube video as well. And I can also post this to Twitter, so I'm going to just tweet that now. All done. look at this it's also letting me insert my video in the PDF that is awesome this is a real bonus I didn't even know this was happening so look at my PDF it says YouTube video inside I've inserted it at the end and there's a link to my YouTube video right here after the last page that is awesome and I can really see that helping for SEO so there you go an added bonus for your YouTube video allowing you to embed the video in your slide share all right take care we'll talk soon Ciao.